So welcome back everyone. We are, what is this, episode 8? I don't know. 9, 10, 50 of the bridge. Today we're going to put the side bumpers on and get everything wrapped up. Are you ready to get going? Mm -hmm. All right, let's cut our bumpers. So Jack and I have got everything set up here. Uh, so we've got uh, some uh, rough cut full dimension two by fours, meaning they're a full two by four here. We've got some 12s and some smaller ones. We're gonna, gonna do kind of a spacer system with a 45 on the ends so that if, if somewhere were, were to hit that, rather than pushing it and breaking everything off, messing everything off, it, it will kind of protect it. The tire will run up on it. Not that anyone should be running up on it, but it's just a little bit of a safety measure. So I've got everything laid out here and have you cut the 45 here, Jack. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut a 45 here. So I've got these laid out for you. This is what a speed square is really handy for because it's got a 45 built into it automatically. Mm -hmm. 45 is just a good pro pro proportion. Always looks nice. Two ways, you're gonna, cut, you're gonna cut up here and then you're gonna turn it down, up, down, just like that. Okay. Nice, easy, con easy, controlled movements. Something that will help you. Listen, think of a song that's got a beat. Don't, 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 whatever song that is, and saw to this imaginary beat. It helps you to be consistent. I, what I do is I imagine sawing to the beat of the saw itself. Uh, whatever works. Like that? Yep, let's go check the other end. How are we looking there? Uh, not quite. Close enough for the bridge, don't you think? Mm hmm. All right. So you'll notice on a lot of these projects that we do, I tend to use a combination of uh, hand tools with the power tools. Power tools, of course, are for production and if you want to get anything done and if you have a busy schedule, they're just, uh, well, we don't want to turn our back on them, do we, Jack? But I'd also don't want to turn the back, our back on, the, on how to have, and especially for you to understand how to use the tr traditional tools. Mm -hmm. So you can use them if you have to. So I'm, I'll cut the rest of them with the skill saw. Um, but um, that's kind of why, why I explain to you and to everyone else why we kind of do a combination of both. I like the hand saws better. Why do you like the hand saws better? Less noise. Less noise, yeah. I, I like that part of it too. So Jack has got the broom. He's going to clean off our area. We're going to work. Now do you see why we did the 45s? Mm-hmm. Okay, so you got me right on the point there? Mm-hmm. We have to determine where the middle is, so we're at 147 inches. What's the half? What's half of that? 147. Uh huh. Half of 147 is don't. Please don't make me do math on camera. 50, 50 um, 53 and a half. Okay, so now we need to figure the placement for our, our next two pieces. Hold me right on the short end of the 45. Okay. We go to our center line. That puts us at 73 and a half. What's half 73 and a half? Uh, 35. So we take a 35, right? And then one and um, three quarters. Screw down and we can't move, move these around as easily. Yep, that's a really good idea. Because we have this, this timber is pretty bowed. So you climb up on here, I'll show you a little trick. So since the timber is bowed, what we can do is we, we can move it and bend it kind of to our will as we want it right here. So if we'll flush this. The problem with bending it to, as we want it is it doesn't bend. Well, it will bend. If we push on it hard enough, it will bend. Um, you put it in. Missed the timber, didn't I? Yeah. All right, how are you gonna get that out when your threads, so you've got threads down here. Mm -hmm. These don't have threads the whole way. See, if we match this up, we'll see that the threads stop right there. Mm -hmm. So we just have the shaft in there. And I'll bet you if we do this, what's gonna happen? It's not gonna come out. Nothing's gonna happen. How do we get that out? Um, we pry on it or what? Not good luck with that. Kind of, you're, you're partially right. You pry on it until it Give gets Give it a little up upward there. pressure while spinning. 
as soon as those those uh, threads engage, mm -hmm. it'll back right out. Okay, get me two timber screws. Okay, so we want to make sure these are flush. Push it down there. So, so this this wood has got a lot of a lot of bows in it. Once I, I get the my marks on here, I'll have you push. Uh, measure. Go double check. How far in were we on those screws? Was it one inch or two? I forget. I want to make sure they're the same. Two. Two inch. Here, we'll come in one and one. That's where our screws go. So we'll have to. Oh. Now, this one is not going to hit because we're too close there. So we're going to have to come in a little bit. Well, it'll hit the wood. It's, it's, there's not enough there, it'll split out. Okay. So we'll have to come in just a little bit there. Hold on, what about this? Yep, I'm just starting to screw. Okay, put all your weight on there. Be as heavy as you can. Think heavy, heavy thoughts. I was thinking of 500 ton battleships and tanks. <laughs> well, it worked, whatever you were thinking. You know what, Papa? What's that? I've decided this is the nicest area. What's the nicest area? Right here on the green. Oh, is it? Mm-hmm. It's a really nice area. because I mean, look how pretty it is. It's really nice. I like it. It's my favorite spot, too. Jack, you're not going to believe this. What? We have the exact right number of screws. Not one extra. This is the last one. Can you believe it? Yes. All right, let's get these. Let's get this put away, Jack. Get out of here. It's so hot that my camera's shut, overheating. I'm overheating too. That is it guys. The bridge is 100% done. It's time to test it by driving something heavy across it. Are you going to drive over first? Maybe. Thou shalt not pass. So what do you think? How was it? It was fun. How's it feel to cross a bridge that you built? Um, it feels like we need to celebrate it with lemonade. <laughs> I agree. 
I want to congratulate you on doing an excellent job. I'm very proud of you. This was a, quite an undertaking. An amazing thing, huh? It was fun besides the heat. It was awfully hot for us. All right. Well, I watched it. Everything looked good. I didn't hear any cracking or creaking or maybe I saw it sag a little bit, but that's to be expected. Wood will give, but it looks like it's plenty strong. All right. Now you get to do it again just to be sure that it worked. Back, Not back across and let's get out of here.